Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied, and he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Now let me show you something here. I, I got only got a couple minutes. In ancient Jewish wisdom, Whenever you see something repeated twice, it means there is a secret that God wants to show you. Now, let me say, I got to say this real quick. You read the book. Why didn't God just say prophesy, say to these bones, and then and part of the prophecy was breath? He said prophesy, and the bones came alive, but there was no breath in them. And so he said prophesy again the breath. Where is this repeated? Where do we first see this happen? In Genesis, God spoke and created man, and man stood. But then it repeats it again, and he breathed in man. The reason that, and, and forgive me for the lack of time, is we are not just animals. We are minches. We are living beings when God breathes on, on, on us, when God breathed into the nostrils of Adam and Eve, he put himself, when he breathed into them, he put himself into mankind. And mankind is not just, a, a, a horse doesn't have a mission, a donkey doesn't have a mission, a cow doesn't have a mission. We have a mission. We have a mission to be not just a physical being, but a spiritual being. When God spoke over Israel, Israel's not just a nation. It's a nation with a spiritual mission. That spiritual mission is to bring the Messiah and bring the Messiah again. And when God is saying to you and I, stand up and be a living being, and God is getting ready to bring breath back on the church, God is getting ready to breathe on you, and God is getting ready to breathe on me it may look like the church world is dead but I declare these bones are gonna live